with that being said, everybody. Shalom everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How's it going? Is that better? Alright, so let's just talk. I told you I would be doing some 10 minute, 13 minute short videos, hopefully keeping your attention. Um, if you're like me, shit, you don't want to be paid any attention right now after Thanksgiving, right? It's all like right here. And with that being said, let's get right into this video, okay? So yes, the microphone is covering up the cleavage. For those of you who don't think I have any, I have some. I mean, shit, <laughs> my body ain't this big for no reason, okay? And well, with that being said, it's still echoing, I think. <laughs> Guys, just doing something different. How the hell are you? What's going on? So, you know, there's a lot going on in this world, and just period, okay? And I always say, if I'm going through things, I believe other people are too, right? We just got to be real with ourselves and confess our sins one to another, confess our faults, pray the effectual prayer of the fervent so it availeth much, right? And carry on, right? So, I'm just sitting here looking outside. Um... <laughs> I was thinking of the sidewalk prophets. Anybody know the sidewalk prophets? Well, there is a Christian group called the sidewalk prophets, but I think of the homeless people, the bums, people who aren't stable in life, but when you talk to them, they have more wisdom and more understanding and more consciousness about them, even though their situation is detrimental. They just have a, a, a reasoning about them that you know is the Spirit of God. So I, I like talking to people whom you would consider less fortunate, but they're fortunate to me because my past always taught me about the least, the less, and the last, okay? And the Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So you can consider people less fortunate than you anything you want at the end of the day they're still god's people and they may be the ones god is using to confound the wise the foolish to confound the wise the strong the weak to confound the strong some truth to it right guys i apologize there's something been irritating this eye since i put the eyelash on about an hour ago so i do apologize um, guys, um, what else? Um, what else? How, how, welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's going on? Yep, 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 yep. Where are we at now? About three minutes in. So, what do you think about President Trump pardoning Corn and Cobb? How is that working for you people? That they find it kind of sickening to do a tradition where they pardon the turkey from being killed. But yet, they have not that same kind of morality for a human life. Especially a black man or a woman. I'm not going to make that make sense, okay? It's crazy. And if you can't make it make sense, go over to teesprings.com. You can get merch over there that says make it make C-E-N-T-S. Because that's what they did. Off of our demise, off of our history, off of our um, soul and being, soul and existence. They have gotten super rich. I read somewhere where Black Friday... 6.9 billion dollars it's on peak to make that amount of money <laughs> but yeah black people we're not on peak point in the right direction uh track to receive anything such as reparation for a hard way to go right lord tell me about it 
So anyway, did you guys see my Thanksgiving dinner? Honey, like I always tell people, I am not the ugliest. I am not. We all have our own body odor, but I don't stink, stink. I, You know, no, 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 no. But you do have some people that do. I'm not the stinkiest. I'm not the ugliest. Uh, my teeth aren't the butteriest. My hands aren't the wrinkliest. My edges aren't the baldest. My waistline is not the biggest. My arms are not the flabbiest. Okay? There's always going to be somebody a little worse off than you. And I showed y'all my food and shit. <laughs> This Thanksgiving, honey, <laughs> it, no, I, I probably came in the top five, okay? I see maybe six to ten different recipes going on around. I'm like, hmm, hmm, mm hmm. A lot of people are all talk, but when it comes to being domesticated, like, it's one thing to come out here and look pretty, but if you can't get in that kitchen and throw down, if you can't dance, you probably can't, you know, hump a guy, right, whatever, you know, do your thing in the bedroom, <laughs> out here perpetrating, and honey, oh, oh my God. Who I'll be trying to tell people on Facebook. Couldn't you think of something else to post in it? They'd be like, on the, on the, in three words, how would you rate this food? I'd be like, nasty. Three, three words, nasty. Okay, <laughs> nasty shit. And then the people who can cook don't really take the time to post or do vlogs about it. So I tried this holiday season not that i celebrate thanksgiving i told you guys it's not about that it's not about that mm -mm. not when i realize what black friday really means and why they call it black friday y'all gotta listen to my videos man shit <laughs> i'm just watching the neighbors and people you know walk outside walk around corn talk about quarantine living huh Whew. A mess. All right, so I even baked a cake, a white cake. <laughs> I did a video. We went from a white cake to damn the meaning behind Black <laughs> Black Friday. I was like, oh shoot, my mind be going places. I got triggered by making a white cake, y'all. <laughs> I said, well, hell. <laughs> Let me go research Black Friday. And it was a really interesting video. You guys gotta watch it, okay? Matter of fact, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Alright? Um, No need not to. I get more traffic from people who aren't sub to me than people who are. So those of you coming over watching my um content, just go ahead and subscribe for the love of God. Yes, I said for the love of God. If you love God, subscribe to my damn channel. <laughs> After all, it is God we talk about over here, right? <laughs> and with that being said, that should be a reason just to subscribe to my channel. Just on GP alone. You got somebody out here. Um, I think I carry myself well. I think I'm a decent person. I think I look presentable enough to be on anybody's stage or anybody's television screen. I think I have what it takes, but a lot of people are afraid of the spirit in me and what God can do through me. And so they avoid me, resist me, fight me and all that. And, they, and, and, and because they can't control me. Because I'm not a follower that way, okay? Because I know the voice of God. Remember, he said, my sheep shall know my voice. So, yes. What well, does the voice of God sound like? Does it sound like this voice? <laughs> I remember I called my friend Ish. I was like, hey, he jumped up out of sleep. He was like, who this? Don't be letting me wake you up on hard, nigga. <laughs> He, we was laughing. I said, you want me to call you every morning and say, hey. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God. So yeah, I think I'm funny. I mean, I think I'm respectful. I think whatever integrity is in me, it's the same before people, off camera, because God see y'all know all and hear all. So you can't, I'd say you can get over on me, but we can't get over on God. There's no need in me coming and pretending, oh, I'm the southern belle of YouTube. Mm -mm. And I'm making my debut. Living like the damn devil off camera and shit. No, it don't work like that, people. God said, what you do in secret, I will reward you openly, okay? And, and the rewards I get is I hear people say, good to see you. I'm like, you know, it's good to be seen. <laughs> I don't, you, yeah, they think that's kind of conceited and stuck up. And hell no, it is good to be seen. That means there's still breath in my body, first of all. It means that when people see me, I'm a breath of fresh air that they probably didn't have blow their way in a long time. And it also means that I have a pleasant spirit about me that most people can tolerate. <laughs> One guy told me I walk soft. Like, I, you know, I glide. I'm just soft-spoken on the most part. Walk soft. It's not like a tiptoe or anything. I'm like, scared, of, you know, walking on eggshells. It's just, and, and I'm a, like I said, I'm a thick girl, okay? But it's just the softness about me. That don't mean you weak. Huh? Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, right? But I bet you there's some instances where a dove has, has to protect, her, protect themselves, right? So, yeah, we're about 11 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I appreciate you talking to me. And um, basically, I guess this video was called I'm Not the Ugliest, right? Um, yeah, because there's a lot of ugly people and ugly spirits in this world. But because they have convinced you that ugly is the new beauty and that death is the new life. You guys don't know when a refreshing spirit comes along. And when it does, when it's more soft-spoken, when it's more uh, either intellectual or more, um, more people would gravitate to it because of the shyness, because of the reserve, because of the respect, because of the... Uh, uh, do unto others as you would have others do unto you mentality they will reject you they will make you look like you're the bad guy and convince everybody else that they're the good guys you know what i'm saying because they don't want you to ever 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 especially the cia in the american government don't ever want you to come in contact with anybody that can wake you up that can unify you with your people and electrify you in your spirit and in your soul that you begin to serve God again and you, you, you come from amongst the wickedness of the church and you begin, you know, to live for God and to be a vessel for God again. If all of us is out here being a vessel for God, how much damage you think will be done to the kingdom of darkness right now? That just leaves me to believe that some people like being dark like and, and there's nothing wrong with that but you can't straddle the fence and i'm gonna end on here christ says over in the book of revelations you're either hot or you're cold that's a good title hot or cold you're either hot or you're either cold you're either on fire for the lord or you're on fire for the devil Alright, you're either hot to God or cold to the devil. Hot to the devil, cold to God. You cannot serve mammon and money and God at the same time. You're going to love one and hate the other and vice versa. And what he says is, there's no need of you straddling the fence. I don't deal with people who are lukewarm. What I'm going to do is spew you out of my mouth. And I suggest that you begin to spew people out of your mouth. If Christ don't want the lukewarm people in his mouth, why do you have the lukewarm people in your mouth? Why do you keep deciding to roll with people who are semi-hot for God? 
in church pretending to be on any kind of ministry or board or anything like that uh, appears to be hot for God but when they leave church it's they're cold they're cold for God and hot for the devil and vice versa when you have people out here the prophetess and the um, prophets and the people attaching apostle and bishop and preacher and teacher and evangelist and all this to their name they're out here living for the devil somehow convincing you they're godly you know lukewarm for god you know know how to do a little uh praise and worship possibly know how to dance in the spirit know how to be slain in the spirit no maybe even know how to tithe and give but still, they have not submitted unto God to resist the devil. James 4 and 7, I believe. So with that being said, don't be lukewarm, guys. I know it seems hard to just stick with God in these last days. Because it's so much easier to go out and do what the rest of the world is doing. Believe you me, I know. But the one thing I like about Paul is he tells us, that you have to crucify your body. You have to crucify your flesh. That nagging desire to do evil and wicked. You have to bring that. Which highly exhausts itself against the word of God. Into captivity. And into the subjection of Christ. And it's obedience. So you know. It, it, when you talk and talk. You, you can quote Bible verses. You can uh, you know like I said. Lead the, the children's ministry. You can cook dinners, you can go feed the poor, the homeless, and do all this other stuff. But if you have not submitted to God, then you're lukewarm. And I don't want Christ to spew you out of his mouth. I don't want to see you wasted by the wayside. Well, he says his tongue is a double-edged sword. So wasted is just an understatement. You're going to be destroyed. And why be destroyed when you can just say, okay, dear Lord, you know what? I'm going to lay it all on the line today. I'm going to give you a try. I've been trying everything else in this world. And it doesn't seem to be working for me. That's because apart from God, you're nothing. Without God, nothing is possible. All things are impossible. Without God, with God, all things are possible. Does that make sense? That's over in the book of Luke somewhere as well. So don't be lukewarm. Don't be out here, you know, second guessing your spirituality. Even if it's Christianity. Whatever belief you believe in right now. Don't be out here letting people take you out of what you believe. I'm only here to encourage you to look at something different. Something that Christianity doesn't offer you. And that's freedom. The verse goes... Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. The truth shall make you free. And if the sun is not being followed properly in church, that's the Messiah, that's Yeshua the Christ and his teachings, not that of religion through the Vatican and the Roman Empire through Christianity. But if the real Messiah isn't being taught, you're being deceived. That's one way, right? And the second way is, God said, come from amongst them. You're not supposed to even be fellowshipping amongst these people. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hopefully, guys, this has been amazing to you. You're watching Religion Link TV and my spiritual ears stay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One day we'll get there. We'll get to our 1K, but most importantly, one soul at a time. We'll get through this world. Eventually, as the Bible says, he'll make your name published in the land. Just keep speaking the truth. Keep doing what's right. Keep adding uh, substance and value to the people who choose to listen to you. Regardless of what the rest of the world is doing. Because I'd rather see you hot for God. And in his bosoms, under the shadow of the Almighty, then, or cold for God and just not being bothered with him or with you at all. Because the same way you don't bother with God, God ain't out here bothering with you. Somebody else's. <laughs> and, or just be that lukewarm. Hey guys, what are you waiting on? 
Don't forget to hit the box up here, up here, down here, and down here. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like this video, share this video, and comment down below. Thank you. When your foot is in the church some days and your spirit is in the bed with Satan other days, most days, he's not honoring that and he's going to spew you out his mouth. And I always say, dear Lord, before I let you destroy your own people, even Abraham said, if there be five, dear Lord, spare Sodom and Gomorrah. I'd be like, if there's just one other person, dear Lord, spare us here in this earth today. And with that being said, shalom, everybody. God bless you and have a great day. Peace.